Hi, this video is about opening your third eye. And um, okay, so right now I don't know if my third eye is open. But then again, I it's just it's a good thing if it's not fully open because usually what happens is when when you're in the yoga state, the fully union unionized state, the unio mystica I think it's called. Uh, where you're yoked in with the heavenly, the divine, your ego less completely, then you don't would not be too much motivation for making these type of videos. <clears throat> because it's usually making these sort of videos are kind of like an, a little bit, if not at least, uh, uh, if not at the absence of. It's a little bit egoic you know we live in a social media culture of instagram facebook youtube we want to get ourselves known but it's like but if i make this video is it am i really talking to myself you know the people who those who do understand Tao shall not speak of i mean then clearly you have not understand understood anything but then again in order to communicate it you have to communicate it but therein lies the trap that's why alan watts once said the ideal best way would be to give a fucking Johnny Cage performance of 433. You come in and just say nothing and leave. But then you might feel cheated. So it, anyways, here are several ways. <clears throat> to, honestly, if you were to ask me, I think my third eye is starting to open. And these are some tips, hacks, tricks, techniques, or even uh, currencies and factors that might influence your opening of third eye number one stress yeah believe it or not at crisis time during where your plane is about to crash near-death experience when you're at the moment of stress your breaking point at the pinnacle that might open up your dm i mean your ndim what am i saying your third eye that's the second most common ones are psychedelics ayahuasca dmt psilocybin whatever even cannabis edibles or if you're a chronic cannabis smoker you'll come to you'll reach a point where basically you'll be like it has to open up your third eye it, will, it, it gradually decalcified it and your pineal gland and it will secrete it more so psychedelics crisis number one and that's un, under that umbrella of uh, crisis falls nde near the experience and we obviously sometimes some people opine that is opine a right word does it mean to, to give opinion opine anywho at birth and at death <clears throat> so number three that's that was uh i took a lot of weed but the unexpected one was when uh when i did sensory deprivation tank the flotation therapy that uh, for me that is almost a guarantee that is going to open up it's going to open up the i mean at will pretty much i can open up given the magnesium is rich high good quality uh, the set and setting is good and it's really dark and i lay there for about an hour so that's almost an at will guaranteed method another one is basically what's your third eye is your intuition <clears throat> it's your intuitive seat so anything that makes you feel good you're driving you're getting the you have an exhilarating experience the thrill of your life adrenaline junkie like when you reach that this is it you know as alan boss's video said the confucius said um those who grasp Tao in the morning will die content in the evening, something like and of that nature. So it's like when you're truly alive, that's when your third eye op opens up, and that has to do with Maslow's hierarchy and self realization, self actualization, and everything. So if you stick to some sadhana, if it be it chess or anything, any hobby, and if you realize, if you re if you after devoting tons and years and years, clocking years and hours, you realize you have reached a point of if not mastery but at least some sort of expertise where you feel you have this thing in the in your control that might also open up your third eye okay so mastery is one then ketosis helps in that way because you're flushing out the sugar from your system you're probably who knows decal decalcifying your pineal um, third eye uh, and um you have so much energy that it literally goes to your chakra the sixth chakra rajana chakra and, uh, and you feel like you feel like a badass every day but you have to pay the price of a shitty diet at least for me it was and so fasting obviously and um so mantak chia talked about dark chamber 
So any any time you want to isolate yourself in a cave or in a dark chamber for the longer the better than the melatonin more melatonin produce and you sleep as a cause when you have a when you it is perpetrated the perpetrate perpet anywho it is believed widely believed that in during REM REM sleep your third eye uh, is activated right so you can use that as a as a tool before sleep like okay this is what i want subconscious mind show me the the answer in the in a through a symbol in a dream or some image but be prepared to see some unpleasant things that things you may not want to watch so and finally the fastest way okay there was this dude called Liezu, not Lao Tzu, not to confuse with Lao Tzu, Liezu. so basically that homeboy went up to study with a master and the master didn't even give any didn't even look at him so then he meditated for five years this is my these are my this is my rendition it's my embellishment and flavoring and coloring they he meditated for five years and then came back and he said for the five years i meditated on duality essentially in essence that's what he, he thought he meditated on right and wrong and um and he tried to control right and wrong that he he wanted his mind to be right and his mind to be wrong he wanted to be neutral so that he's not, it's not swayed either way and then finally for another about the master then looked at him and then so he went away <laughs> and leaving the master in his hut up in a mountain somewhere and then he went, went away and uh, meditated for another five years and um, came back and he said okay so now i'm good at not letting my mind see what it wants to what it doesn't should not see and in ears not hear what it doesn't want to hear anyways he, the master again looked at him and smiled and finally he, he he meditated for five more years and then finally he said he got it he got he got the grasp of uh, he he got a he grasped the whole um gist of it the kernel of it the act the that the the point being and then he said i no longer control my mind i know i, I let my mind wander and see what he wants to see here wants to hear and my mind basically pretty much experience what it wants to experience and my feet go wherever it wants to go so basically the whole point of this long-ended butchered rendition of the story is that if you want to be intuitive and open up your third eye you have to be intuitive when you're playing chess sometimes you have to go crazy and make those dumb moves you have to take risks in life. That's another key point I forgot to mention. Whenever you do something outside the comfort zone, I suggest Darren Brown's uh, Darren Brown's videos on uh, making a hero, hero. Because I'm not saying do that. Obviously not. I mean, respect your local laws and again, don't do any crime and don't do any evil. <laughs> That's ironic because we have three monkeys with hear no evil, see no evil, and do no evil. But you basically have to be within confines of societal structure and constraint. Give yourself as much permission as to just go fucking haywire, full on crazy. Like, okay, that doesn't mean being rebellious. Sometimes it actually means being more in tune with your own inner being and your heart and intuitive center. So that's actually as simple as that. To waking up is, you know, Alan Watts one again to hark har back on him. Like he wants, as I forget his name, some Japanese name. Tokyo Sadawaki or something that how long how long will it take and he said it might take three seconds three years or three minutes I'm 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 not I'm serious again that's my butchered embellishment anywho so yeah I mean basically if you want to open up your third eye and be intuitive you have to be intuitive it's ipso facto it's circular and it's as simple as that and, and and the hero thing is whenever you get out of your comfort zone you stand up for yourself you say enough and enough you are rosa parks moment where you took a stand in your life against injustice against 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 uh against uh wrong and you for righteousness that's one of my my time is running out 29 seconds so i have to finish it so even at the high you get an adrenaline high from asking someone out because basically something that fully wakes you up so it could be anything driving anything so i have to wind up uh, wind wind up or wind down anywho i have to wrap up so and that's it